Let's go through what uh, it might look like if we were teaching a lesson uh, using Class Swift. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna switch to my Google Slides presentation. This is just a basic multiplying fractions lesson. And so normally, like if I was teaching this lesson on the first slide, so I'm modeling the lesson, but then I want students to, uh, basically everybody to participate. A lot of times we might do a turn and talk or we might have a couple students respond, but let's use Class Swift to get larger student engagement. And so what I'm gonna do uh, over here, you're going to see that I have a quiz button. When I press this, what it does is it lets me activate different types of questions, true, false, single selection, uh, short answer. There's actually an audio feature, so you can actually ask uh, questions verbally. It can, will play on the student devices and then they can record, right? They can record their voice back and submit it. So you get an audio response versus a written or typed response. We're going to start with just a simple multiple selection question. And what it does is it actually activates a screen capture tool. And so what it's gonna let me do is I can capture part of my slide where I want my students to think about what are ways that we can represent one fourth times 12. I'm doing this in the moment, this is verbal. So there's only three choices. They can choose one of four groups of 12, one fourth of 12 or 12 divided by four. So three selections, one, two, or three. I'm going to then start my quiz. And what's gonna happen is it's going to take this screen capture and push it out to the student devices so they can see what I captured off my screen. It's also giving them the choices of one, two, three. So they can pick of uh, from these responses which one they wanna choose. I can also monitor on my list, my results list, who is answered and who's not, which is a great way to give you adequate wait time uh, to make sure students have time to respond. So now that we have our responses in, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select end quiz on the bottom left. And then it's gonna give me this option to disclose the answer. And so uh, in this particular example, all three of them are actually correct. So I can select all three and then I choose the disclose button and then it's going to show the responses. So I can see that there are two people selected one, five people selected two and three selected seven. Now, what's cool about this is that I have the ability to randomly draw someone uh, from the class to see how they responded. So if I come here and choose random draw, I can choose from students who only have correct answers, only students who have incorrect answers, or maybe students who didn't answer. So I'm gonna click the dice here, it's gonna roll, and then it's going to randomly select someone. So uh, normally I would then maybe have Tani. Tani, which answer do you pick? Why did you think that that was the correct answer? So it's a great way to engage your students. And what we can do is we can come back to our Google Slides and we can continue teaching our lesson after that first quick check for understanding. 